To access PACE's subscription to WRDS, go to the library homepage, library.pace.edu, click on the Databases tab, and then click on the letter W, and scroll down to WRDS. In order to use WRDS, you need to create an account using your PACE email. So you'll click on Login, Register, and then go through the steps to register for WRDS. Again, make sure you have to use your PACE email and then you will have the option under subscriber to select Pace University as a, your institution. Once your account is approved, you log into WRDS and then you can see the different subscriptions that we have. We don't have access to the entire WRDS suite of subscriptions, but to get firm level financials, click on analytics at the top tab, select financial ratios firm level, And there are two options down here at the bottom. If you want financial ratios for individual companies, click on financial ratios firm level by WRDS beta. If you want a more narrow date range, you can change the year. For example, let's say I only want the last few years. I will change to 2019 and make sure that you follow their date format. So I'll start with January 2019 until the present. The easiest way to get the company codes is to select ticker. If you know the stock ticker symbol for the company that you want, you can just put it in, or you can always Google and find the stock ticker symbol that way. So for example, I'm gonna start with Amazon, so I'll Google Amazon ticker. The Amazon ticker symbol is AMZN. So I'll paste that into my company codes box and note that you need to enter the company code separated by a space. So if I wanna compare Amazon and Walmart, go back to Google get the ticker symbol for Walmart, which is WMT, and paste that in with a space between these two company codes. If I wanna save this code list and create a code list name, for example, Amazon and Walmart, and then in the future, I'll be able to select it um, from my save code list. And then you can scroll down and choose the specific variables that you wanna include in your report. So you can see there is a total of 73 different variables available. And then these different tabs kind of break them down by the general categories such as identifying information, valuation ratios, etc. You can choose whichever you want here or you can search for something particular among all 73 different variables. So as an example, I'm just going to do profitability ratios, select all, and it adds all 15 data points for profitability ratios to my report. And then I'll scroll down and you have some options for how you want your output. I'm going to select Excel spreadsheet. I'm also going to select the date format the way that we usually do in the US, month, date, and then year. But if you prefer it, for example, day, month, and then year, there are lots of different options there. If you wanna save this query for future use, you can save the query name it, and then it will be saved in your WRDS account. Did I spell that right? And then submit form. And at the tops, so it'll say, okay, your query was successfully submitted and this query number is hyperlinked. So when I click on that, in this case, it is waiting to begin. When it's running, it'll tell me that it's running. And then in a few seconds, it'll be ready to download. It says the page will refresh every five seconds until the query has finished. So I don't need to keep refreshing. It'll refresh on its own until the report is actually ready to be downloaded. When it's done, it will show me it has been successful. Here's my output file. It'll download and I can open it in Excel. Here are my different ratios and I can save this as is or play around with the data in any way that I want. As always, if you ever need any more help with this service or any other resources from the library, on the library homepage, you can click on the Ask a Librarian link. And very often when it says chat now, it means there's a librarian online right now and you can start a chat and ask any questions that you might have.